But tonight the action continues and we have all the highlights for you straight from the sidelines. Kicking it off with the women's team, we have CMU hosting the Montana Western Bulldogs. Let's get right to the action. Tonight, the Lady Mavericks mean business, getting the early lead all thanks to Savannah Domgard dropping the three, but she's got more in her. Right back in it, they get it back to her, and Domgard delivers, gets another three-pointer for the 12-0 Mesa lead. The Bulldogs know they've got to change the pace. They force the turnover off the Mavs, pass it down to Shaney Mack. She puts some pressure on those defenders, gets under the net, bounce passes Brinley Fitzgerald coming in for the Montana Western two. But it looks like those defenders forgot what a threat Dom Gord was. Right back in the mix, she gets open, dropping it in for another Maverick three. I think we're starting to see a trend here. She finished the game with 15 points. But we can't forget about the other powerhouses for Mesa. Sophie Anderson found on the outside, making it look easy. The Mavs got threes for days. Playing catch up for the Bulldogs, Jolnell Momberg, pushing past the Mavericks up the middle for another Montana layup. But not enough to keep Mesa at bay. Mariah Martin might not get this one in the basket, but the Mavs tip it. And Kylie Kravick comes in to save the day with the rebound. The Mavericks gonna take it all today. Let's take a look at that final. The Lady Mavericks never look back on this one, winning with a final score of 75-63. to Great first outing from home for Mesa. The women's team still undefeated at 5-0. Their next matchup is in Lakewood against CCU on December 4th. Now the men's team also getting in on the action. The Mavericks hosting Simon Fraser University, making the trip all the way from Canada. Jumping right in, Blaze 3 sees his opportunity and he takes it, marching right down the middle for the layup and first score of this matchup. Simon Fraser coming in with the heat though. David Penny is covered, so instead he passes to 6'8 senior Jazdeep Singh for the three, keeping him neck and neck. What a key player for the team. The dynamic duo right back at it for yet another score from outside the arc. SFU up by two in the first. But Mesa can make threes too. Reese Johnson getting caught up in defenders off for the outside where three sends it home, keeping the Mavericks in the game. And while was it his night receiving the turnover, he runs it down the court and pushes through for another Maverick two. But we can't forget a secret weapon on that Mesa roster. Mac Rinnaker with one of his four steals of the game runs straight down ahead of everyone getting the insane dunk pushing the Mavericks into a comfortable lead. And from here on out, welcome to the Mac Rinnaker show. Thanks for joining. Owen Koontz with the steal hands it to the man of the hour. He runs up the middle straight through the Simon Fraser defense for yet another dunk. CMU untouchable. All the Maverick fans coming home from break to catch the game and can't get enough of it. Now that SFU duo trying for a comeback, but there's a steal by guess who? Rinnaker right back at it, does what he does best, runs it down for the dunk, the crowd goes wild. The men's team taking the major win, let's take a look at that final. The men's team takes this one all the way with a final score of 80 to 56. The men's basketball team also coming in with a sweep on the Holiday Inn Airport Thanksgiving Classic. Their next matchup also against CCU next weekend.